Jazz violin is hard, and one of the things that's really hard about it is the bow and how to get a nice swing rhythm. So here are three exercises guaranteed to help you with your swing bowing. This video actually comes from my jazz violin beginners class, which is a place that you, a beginner jazz violin, can come to learn how to start yourself off. It's a series of video lessons plus support from me, all geared towards helping you find the right place to jump off from when you're learning to play jazz violin. We use our ear, we learn harmony, we spend time working on different tunes that come up when we play jazz, and we learn some great techniques for learning to improvise. If you want to join that, you can find the link in the description below. But for now, just enjoy these three bowing exercises. It's important to note, though, that if you want to get good swing rhythm, the main thing you have to do is hear good swing rhythm in your head. You can make yourself swing just with your bowing. It's important that you hear those swing rhythms in your head. But with all that said, enjoy these three exercises. Exercise number one. Offbeat slurs. One, two, three, four. Exercise two. Slightly doctored offbeat slurs. Some people call it jazz bowing. One, two, three, four. And now here's a little pattern for working on both emphasizing different parts of the bar and ghosting notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and 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 two, three, four. One. Now, a lot of what makes swing rhythm what it is, is offbeats and the accenting of offbeats and the sort of unaccenting of non-offbeats. That's a real simplistic way of putting it because there's so much more to swing rhythm than that. Uh, but it, it is one of the aspects that makes it what it is. Those three exercises look at accenting different offbeats in different ways. The first two exercises look at doing it by slurring and the last exercise looks at accenting every different part of the bar, um, but accenting using our fingers and, uh, and sort of softly playing all the other notes. There are so many different ways of playing jazz on a violin and there's so many different styles. I don't really want to be the one to tell you which style to play in, uh, but those are three exercises that have helped me find my own way of playing. If you enjoyed these exercises, you enjoyed this video, please join my beginners class on Patreon. It's a place for beginner jazz violinists to learn how to play jazz. Happy practicing!